Okay, and number two, you're doing 2x minus y, and you're raising it to the fourth. So this is a case where you are going to have to do a fifth step. And here, here's what that would be. Ready, so let's start with the first term, which I double underlined. So whatever I double underlined, you're going to take that to the fourth. Then you're going to take it to the third. Then you're going to take it squared. Then you're going to take it to the one. Then it's not going to show up at all. Well, what is double underlined? 2x. And if it's more than just a letter, put it in parentheses. 2x to the fourth, 2x cubed, 2x squared, 2x, and then it's gone in the last term. There's nothing there. Once you get to that blank spot, that's where y to the fourth shows up. Then y cubed, then y squared, then y, and then nothing. So uh, you want to check as you go through. See this exponent 4? Nothing plus 4 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. Nothing plus 4 is 4. I'm going to erase this because we don't really need it. Step 3, coefficients from row 4 in Pascal's triangle. If you forget Pascal's triangle, jot it down when you get your test tomorrow. It's built like this. You start with 1, 1, 1, and then the next row is 1, add these, 1. 1, add these, add these, 1. 1, add these, add these, add these. One. So the fourth row, hopefully you don't think that's the fifth row, it's the fourth row because it's row zero, one, two, three, four. The fourth row is one, four, six, four, one. We'll put the ones there even though I'm going to ignore them in a minute. We don't have a plus sign in the middle, and no matter what, if this is a minus, Make this second term minus, then plus, then minus, then plus. We've completed the first four steps of this process, but a problem like this has a bonus step. You need to do a little bit more. All right? And here's what we need to do. Anything that's in the parentheses needs to be taken to the fourth power. All right, so 2x needs to be taken to the fourth, then 2x needs to be cubed, then 2x needs to be squared, and so on. So here we go. 2x to the fourth is 2 to the fourth, x to the fourth, minus. I'm going to leave this 4 here for a minute. 2 cubed is 8, x cubed is x cubed. Y has a 1 as an exponent, so it's just Y. Plus, see that 6? Hold on to it for a minute. 2 squared is 4. X squared is X squared. Y squared is Y squared. Minus 4 times 2X Y cubed plus Y to the fourth. The only thing we need to do now is multiply these coefficients, multiply these, and multiply these. 16x to the 4 minus 32x cubed y plus 24x squared y squared minus 8xy cubed plus y to the 4th is the final answer. If you have that right, you're pretty good at this. <laughs>